I felt like I owed her an explanation and I owed her understanding me. And I wanted a way to be able to explain to her, this isn't your fault. And I love you more than anything. That's the type of thing as a parent that you just want to, that you want to be able to relate to your kids. I was young when I went to war and I didn't have kids till later in life. And so, um, who I am post-war is the only version of me my kids know. I still remember where I was standing in that trailer house the first time I felt this and I didn't know what it was. It was something that I felt inside of my chest that um, it's a physical manifestation of, of what I now now know, you know, this is my body reacting to what I'd been through over the last few years. And you have to remember, like, this is 2004 when this is happening, right? So we're very early in the war still. I didn't even know what the VA was or what PTSD was. I mean, that just, those weren't topical conversations that were happening at the time. Like, even if they did tell me about that stuff, I was like 22 years old, I didn't want to listen. And I just wanted to get on about my life and go home. I didn't know to be concerned about it. One day I had like a, a, a crappy day at work. And so I, I get in my truck to come home and I stop and get beer and like I drink all the way home, right? And then um, when I get home, my wife comes home a little bit later and she's like, she had brought our, our daughter home from daycare and she knew, right? It's obvious at, at that point. She's like, you know, don't you become an alcoholic because your daughter deserves better. And, and that was a time when I realized that I wasn't really in control. And uh, if, if I didn't do something that I was gonna lose everything that was good in my life. And, you know, taking those first steps to go and seek out help, like that is the hardest part of the journey. I looked for a resource to be able to explain this to my kids and it really wasn't there. It crossed my mind like, yeah, maybe you could write something, but I never really thought I would do it. And I had a rotten day at work one day and I went home, I sat at my kitchen table and I wrote the whole book, Why Is Dad So Mad? with illustration notes and everything. I, I shelled it out in like 30 minutes on my computer and then I hit save and I filed it away. So many people have reached out to me and told me how this has impacted their family. Our current, current wars have been going on since 2000, you know, 2001, 2003. That's a long, long time. You have, there's over 3 million service members that have deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan since September 11th. Uh, the VA estimates that between 10 and 30 percent of those people uh, struggle with PTSD at some level. That's a big number. It's like 810,000 uh people that, that could be struggling. And that's just, you know, that's estimates. The fact that I was able to put something together that has made it into the number of households that it has um, is, is something that, I mean, I, I don't, legacy probably isn't the right, isn't the right word for sure, but it's something that, that is going to live on far beyond when I'm around. In the book, I, I refer to this, I refer to it as like a fire in dad's chest that, that kind of takes control of him. And, you know, like when I read that to my daughter, when she was six years old, she's like, I'm sorry you have a fire in your chest, dad. You know, and that's the kind of thing that will always stay with you.